Alrighty everyone, so I heard something crazy going on in the fish room, so let me go ahead. It, it's a weird sound. I, I don't know what it is. Let's go check and see what it is. Okay, so that door definitely needs some WD-40. <laughs> Do you guys hear that sound? And before we get started, let's go ahead and do a co-op floor check. Looking good, looking good. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but... Man, it's the worst sound ever. I think I found the noise. Yep, it's these. It's time to get rid of all of the air pumps in here. One massive air pump to run all of these tanks and make it much much more quieter in here so let's go ahead get this process going I'm gonna show you what air pump I just purchased and I'm amazed I'm I'm I love this this company so let's go ahead and jump into it alrighty so as you can see this is the air pump that I will be installing this is the Jimco LP H45 model I think this said it runs for about 40 to 45 fish tanks. Now, as always stated in all of my videos, when I'm installing or doing something, I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. And as always, this is a try. This is not a, a tutorial or a how-to. This is a try. Every fish room is different in all different ways. So, with mine being a square type of area, I'm going to have to put PVC piping up and start this so I'm going to show you the bit by bit of what I have to do got some last few pieces shipped in today got the drill bit and everything I got the air valves and also some black airline tubing switching it up seeing how it looks but let's get this going y'all all right with this step I have to actually start with this side because this is going to be the shortest area and I have to get it started on here so what I'm going to do is put up some uh, some tape and make sure I can get the holes right and make sure everything is all good. Alright, so as you can see, I got the start of this one going so I can get the measurement of what it is because I don't have my tape measure. So I'm doing this all by guessing. Don't do this, do measuring tapes. But Let's get it going. I got to get a few more cut this way and then I got to drill them, get some uh, taps in them and let's go. Alrighty, as you can see, I am getting it together. Just getting it all in here. It is like 82, 83 degrees in here. Sorry if you are offended by me having my shirt off. But yeah, this is going to get done. It's looking good so far. Let's get this going. Give y'all a closer look. Look and good. All right, so as y'all can see, got it all the way around, but we ran into a problem. The drill that I have does not fit the actual drill bit. Hold on, it's not compatible with this. So what we're gonna do is, is get a drill that's able to do this and then we'll get going on it. But until then, we got it up and ready to go looks good it's a little cattywampus but hey you know alrighty so day two we got to get a drill or a drill bit that's gonna fit the little drill piece that I have so let's go ahead and get that going as well so we can get this air system up hot in here I'm gonna go ahead and put some clear silicone on those and make sure there's no air leaks and I also did put some uh, 
plumber's tape on the inside as well make sure everything was all good alrighty so the silicone is on each and every single everything to make sure there is no leaks on anything on here but everything looks good so what we're going to do is get the lights on real quick and clean this floor alright so as y'all can see the air is officially on it's so powerful it dismantled all of that I gotta go in there and get that going but uh, even that it, it's spewing <laughs> it, it, it's good it's really good so I am very happy with this air pump let's go ahead and go over and listen to it just so 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 quiet so 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 quiet and also with putting this in I also eliminated using those by just throwing water in about a 12 or 15 gallon trash can I do use age water for the smaller tanks and I may use them for the bigger tanks sooner or later if I get a bigger container but this is for the small tanks for now but look at that airflow Alrighty everyone, so as you can see, I got it up and ready to go. Everything is looking good. I can tell a difference in the airflow. It is amazing. The only thing I can really hear is the bubbles and that's really it. And I'd rather hear bubbles than a constant air pump. If you enjoy this kind of content, do me a huge favor, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell for me, please and thank you. And as always, be kind, be courteous, and have a wonderful day, y'all.